you're working in SOLIDWORKS and you're placing your part into your drawing and for some reason material doesn't populate, the title block information doesn't populate, we can quickly restore these links. All of these links are coming from our part. So I can hover near the part, right click, and open my part. With the part open, the first thing I should do is check, did I assign a material? And I have, I've signed ABS. I should also go to the File, Properties tab. And under the Custom tab, part of the reason nothing is showing is I have no values entered here. So for a description, it's blank. So I need to enter my description. Once I've entered a description, I'll select OK. I'll rebuild the part. Use the Control tab to go back to the drawing. And my description has shown up. The material hasn't shown up, so I'll click Rebuild. The material still doesn't want to show up, so the link must be broken. We want to fix that. Other links that aren't populating our drawing yet is our weight. Okay? Our customer, all of this is empty and all these links can be restored. To restore a link, right click in white space on your drawing, select edit sheet format, and I want to add the customer link. I have two options. One is to go back to the part, go file, properties, and add the customer here. I can choose it from the drop down menu or I can just type the information tell it this property type is text and enter the customer information press enter should check my spelling. I often make mistakes. Make sure the field is good. Select OK. Rebuild the part. Control tab back to my document. And the customer field has populated. Sometimes the link may be broken and you're unable to get the link to work. The other option you have is to select the annotation tab, select note, and it's close enough. I'll put my note right here. So for the project, what do I wish to do? Well, once again, over here is the links to the property field. I can select link to property, and I can say the model in view specified in the sheet properties. Choose the drown drop down arrow and all of the th properties I've set up I can find the property here if I can't find the property then we can switch to use the current document property that means this drawing sheet here it'll only be part of this drawing sheet but it's a temporary solution until I restore the link later select file properties the properties for this drawing sheet will show up and I can now add the property project. I can tab across, enter the project name, enter, select OK, and now that property will appear in the drop down menu. Select project, select OK, I'll close the formatting window click in white space and I can rearrange this. If I get another instance pop-up, just press escape. Again, I can grab this text, drag it around. If I don't like the font size, I can double click on it and I can edit the font.